New tonight at 6.30, space tourism is moving closer to reality. Billionaire Richard Branson traveled to the edge of space today aboard a rocket that he helped fund. Channel 3 Waterbury Chief Dennis Valera is live in our newsroom with a recap of today's test. Dennis, I don't know, I would have been too scared for this. If space tourism is going to become a thing, maybe somebody else. What about you? Yeah, I definitely don't want to be on the first flight. And today, Patricia, that flight was Virgin Galactic's way of saying that they are ready for passengers. They hope to take paying customers on space joyrides starting as soon as next year. Welcome to Space Unity 22. This is the moment Sir Richard Branson took one giant leap into the space tourism business. During this test flight, Virgin Galactic rocketed its space plane Unity into the final frontier, and Branson became the first person to blast off in his own spaceship. He beats Amazon's Jeff Bezos and blew Origin into space by just nine days. A complete experience for lifetime. Virgin Galactic's mothership carried Unity to about 45,000 feet. Release, release, release. Then the space plane dropped, rocketing up at Mach 3, more than three times the speed of sound, until it reached the edge of space. During several minutes of weightlessness, Branson and everyone aboard reached a peak altitude of about 53 miles over the New Mexico desert. Main gear touched down. When Unity touched down, the British billionaire got what he has chased for for nearly 20 years, his astronaut wings. The whole thing it was just magical. The mission statement that I wrote inside my spacesuit was to uh, turn the dream of space travel into a reality for my grandchildren who, who are here, for your grandchildren, uh, and for many people who are alive today, for everybody. Branson never stops promoting. His latest is a sweepstakes drawing for charity, two seats on a future flight to the edge of space. Virgin Galactic has more than 600 reservations from aspiring space tourists, tickets initially costing the low price of $250,000 each. Live in the newsroom, Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.